when you are looking from the wisdom point of view, both pain and the pleasure is uh, is a nature of emptiness, as a dependent origination, and the times and the condition is that. The times and the conditions, not the times and the condition, but the cause and the conditions. Because in the dependent origination, when we talk about what it changes, cause and the conditions, that's the one thing. Parts and the parcel changes. That's another thing. Um, name and label and perception changes. That is another thing. When you say depend, there are so many um, easily understandable for us is, is the cause and the effects. Cause and the effects change the reality. So that gives you, it's not only the mind, but there's a something more than mental perception and the mental acceptance. And that is cause, condition. And cause, condition provides a result. A result. So even we get that idea, cause, condition, changes reality. That idea alone tells you it is not only the mind and the mental factor, but factor alone. And that makes suffering is real, pleasure is real. Although, when you look in the one way, it's a different. But when you think about the cause and conditions, changing the reality. Perhaps, Everything, whatever we experience, we go through. <clears throat> I like that. Negative deeds, positive deeds, are like that. Without, depending on the cause and the condition, there is no negative deed. There is no positive deed. Also, the reality of a negative deed is also causing a pain and the misery to people. And uh, reality of a positive and virtue is causing a joy and a happiness to people. Joy and happiness, as now we know, is not only the perception of a mind alone, but there's also mind plays, reality plays together. And that's why pain are real. Pleasure are real, 
of the mind can play a lot. If it's not a really a direct causing a physical or mental pain, mind could make hell of a difference. But the mind alone cannot do. There is reality. That reality is the cause condition effect. Part parcel effects. Yet is interesting. Yet it is impermanent. It's not a permanent. It is impermanent and also changes tremendously. And so fast, it is fast changing, goes very fast. What makes it change? That is the really a question. What makes it change? Who does make the change? Who changes? Key is not in the hands of operator. Or maybe key is in the hands of operator. But the question is, who is the operator? Who operates? Some thought, somebody else up there make decisions. Some thought, is it natural? Some thought, it is the self, the individual. Interesting, huh? Interesting. Truly, do we really know? No, perhaps not. Perhaps not. Religions, I don't know, ideas, will tell us differently, by different religion. Interesting. Some religion tells us it is somebody who is up there making decisions. We are there to please Some religions tells us it is not up here, it is down here. It is like Buddhist says, it is your karma. And then you try to trace what is karma, who makes karma, what is karma. So when you trace them, and then my understanding, I could be very wrong. But my understanding is, my understanding is when you trace that, that it will, it will make yourself uh, responsible. Because who makes the karma? I do. Nobody else makes my karma. Karma. I mean, from the Tibetan Buddhist point of view. So it is the key of my happiness and the key of my suffering lies on me. It is in me who will make a difference to me than anybody else. How do make how do I make a difference? 
different. The thing is this. If we have an idea, I don't think we know exactly, truly, no. But if we have, if we have an idea that my deeds will make difference for me in future, then I can be careful. I can be careful because even though I don't have proof that my deeds will make difference, and not only my deeds will make a difference, my deeds is the only that make a difference to me. I don't have proof that. But there's a possibility. You can think about it. You can think about it. There's a very strong uh, reasoning. Reasoning. Because there's a really interesting, interesting, very strong reasoning. The reasoning is such as this. Look at that beautiful flower here. A beautiful flower. Where did it come from? It doesn't pop up here by nothing. Yes, Bobby put it here. No, no. Or is it? Yes, Bobby put it. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. But that's not what we're talking about. Where does that really coming from, how it happens, so beautiful. Who made it pink? Who made it yellow? Nobody, right? Nobody, not one person. But cause and conditions, cause and conditions. Conditions are made right. It's growing. I mean, now it's growing or not, but not dying. Because it is conditions. If it's a throw outside in Michigan today, there won't be. It will be frozen. The stems won't be there. The root may even die. Because the condition's not right. So the condition and the cause comes together and result like this beautiful flower. Likewise, cause the conditions come together, beautiful life. And that also Day by day, a minute by a minute, as life changes, cause conditions also changing. So this is interesting. And when you see that, then you begin to think that had been before, that's what's happening today, and that will be in future. And that will establish reasons, your own thought created reasons for you to do something better. Otherwise, no reason why we have to be good. Why can't we do whatever we wanted to do? Whatever we wanted to do, we can't do. 